And good evening, everyone. I'm Rob Wood. I'm Christy Casciano. A rapid but careful nationwide search has produced the next executive director of Syracuse's Hancock International Airport. Jason Terreri was approved this morning by the Airport Authority Board. New Channel Line's Jeff Kulikowski talked with him about his new job. With all the improvements at Syracuse's Hancock Airport the past several months, Jason Terreri knows what he's walking into here. It's a great airport with a great reputation in the community. And uh, in my career, I've, I've moved up through airports, and this just seemed like the right fit to be the airport director. So I look forward to joining the team. It was only mid-January the board learned Christina Callahan would leave her post atop the Syracuse Airport the past several years for the number two job at New York's LaGuardia Airport. Callahan helped Syracuse add more airlines, routes, and undergo that total renovation of the place. The board knew what it needed to build on that success. So someone who could continue with the great customer service orientation that Christina had was right at the top of our list. We also wanted someone with experience in air service development. Having served so many different roles at various airports, Terreri is hoping to take that experience, especially with the different carriers, to keep air service high here and fares low. We think Jason has the right mix of understanding what makes this place a great operation, but also brings some new viewpoints uh, and industry experiences. Terreri's resume includes top jobs at the Orlando Sanford Airport and Atlanta's Hartsfield International Airport, one of the busiest in the world. But Hancock offers one challenge he's never really had to deal with. Uh, the snow will be new, but uh, looking forward to it. I know the team here is great. They're award-winning, so, uh, you know, I have a, a good group to, to rely on. At least he'll have some time to get used to the job before airlines aren't the only thing flying around here. Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. Now we're told Terreri has agreed to a five-year contract with a yearly salary of $175,000. That's a $50,000 increase over Callahan's last salary in that same role. Terreri will also get a $30,000 relocation package, all of which Fisher says the board had to offer to attract a top candidate.